Hello. Hello, welcome. I'm Ridwan and I'm back here from Africa for the last I was there for nearly three and a half months and I was back last week, more than a week, and I have Hip Lake you here with me. And together we completely um, abstracted a very good set of Jasper reports which I have um, uploaded here, committed here, yes, yesterday. And these reports are the complements of Nimco Expo Pharma Group companies that operate the largest, if not one of the largest chrome mines in the world, in South Africa. And um, originally was contracted to Antir at, uh, when I was in South Africa. Uh, I managed to look at these reports and talk to the uh, financial director there who explained to me that these are very important uh, requirements for companies to have and it will be great. So here we are, we have uh, uploaded customer balances, statement, vendor balances, vendor statement and they are all uh, able to be plug and play, just pack in and you're able to get all this information out without doing anything. Right, that's right, you hear me. So let's get to how do you do that. First, you just download this one, which is the two-pack Nimco Jasper reports. The rest are GRXML in case you want to modify them, but if you just want to reuse it right away, just download this and do it through the packing. Let me call it for you. Yes, through this packing. And I've done exactly that with... Um, let me show you. I packed them somewhere, I'm not sure which one is it now. And once you have packed them in, you will find that they will appear as uh, business reports under your uh, client name. All right, let's go there. So notice I'm using the latest um, item peer 2.1. And now you can use them straight away. Of course, after running the role access update, you're able to see this new Jasper report statement. Let's try one of them now. And um, okay, I'm in the client data, which I do not want to do that. Let me get that out and just go to garden wall. Now you have to do something first in order to have uh, the Jasper report appearing, but let, let me just get them out. We're going to go back uh, more than 10 years, 2000, because there's not much data in Ghana well. And let's say that we want to look at CW construction, which is 161 North Delsons. So we go into that. I've preset it there. I don't know how to preset things. Let's right click it. Yeah, we have there. We preset it. Reference and just do it and it will set it for you. So here you are. You got a world information pull out through a Jasper report that is pack and play with your logo and information all dynamically pull out. Now, how is that done? Well, basically, in, in the JRXML, um, the code is basically uh, pull out. Um, without hard coding let me give you a glimpse of the sql you can see the sql there's no text but it's, it's completely pulled out as um, fields um, like such as a logo image is from a binary data from the ad image and uh, of course you have to set the information in your org info as well as let me see client info right client info ci to give you its company name, where is company name? A, right? So there you are. Let me then get back to how it's done here. And if I were to show you back to the system and show you the how the GRSML is brought into it 
let me call up a reporting process and grxml is defined as an attachment and a fully attached here you can see all that without the logo image because the logo image uh, pull up dynamically and this done when you have let me go back to the client admin when in the client admin you have defined your logo your organizational location and its full name in there let me just get into the client first you will see that um, you have got the here's where you define the logo you see that the logo I've just attached an example here this is from the mining company that's an example and for location address you go into your organization and you can have different respective organizational information and for the HQ I put all this information there. you see my email here uh, first phone number fax number and let me get back to this again you see that it oops is because I did not choose the HQ it will not come out all right that's a good demonstration of what you need to do and how it is done so here you are you get the email and the information you put there so that's it very quickly very powerful integrated Jasper reports in the best free Europe in the world and I have to thank IPLQ who's my guest here from Vietnam for the last one week and you'll be here for two more weeks or one month uh, all in before we go he goes back to Vietnam and I follow him back to Vietnam it's a beautiful country bye bye